Sharon Rose, what are you doing in here? I heard you were prepping, like meal prepping for a holiday party. That is exactly what I'm doing. This is JR. I'm Sharon. Hi, JR. And we are having an event tomorrow night. We are throwing a holidays party. And our party went from like 10 people to like 25. And so Sweetha was kind enough to lend me the kitchen to do some meal prep in here. So that is what we're doing. So we're just preparing dinner for tomorrow night. And we thought we'd invite you guys in to kind of see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so station number one, we're just doing some very easy carrots. And so the reason we wanted to share this with you is because so many people get stressed out over the holidays of like, oh my God, I have to prepare food for so many people. Trust me, I was doing this last week. He witnessed it. Um, <laughs> I was like going way in over my head. And so then we just simplified everything and made it super easy. And so what we're doing is we're going to have just some sliced carrots. JR is doing a great job, our little kitchen elf. Um, and we're just going to drizzle them with some walnut oil mm. and then just season it with some parsley, basil, and oregano. So easy. We'll put them on some sheet pans, put them in the oven, bake them at like 350 um, for only about like 20, 20 minutes to par bake them. And then tomorrow we'll put them back in the oven to finish cooking. Um, and then that way the cook time gets cut in half. There's no real stress tomorrow. It'll be nice and easy breezy for us. So thanks JR. You're the best. <laughs> Station number two, these Ooh. are my favorites, fancy. So these are Brussels sprout stalks. So I love Brussels sprouts, they're delicious. Um, and this is how they're grown out in the wild. Um, these are from California. And what we do is we simply took all the Brussels sprouts off and this is what it looks like after. It looks um, like a vertebrae. It does, right? It's wow. so cool. Nature is awesome, food is art, and it's a beautiful thing. Um, and what we're gonna do with these is, so we just took them off the vine and we just simply cut them in half. We are going to slice up some apples and then we're gonna marinate these today. We'll move over here. We're gonna make a honey balsamic vinaigrette glaze that we are going to glaze all of the Brussels sprouts and apples with. And then we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna par bake the Brussels sprouts tomorrow, um, tonight. So that tomorrow we just have to put them in the oven with the apples and it'll only take about 20 minutes to um, cook them up tomorrow. So it'll be really easy. Um, so what we're doing today is we're gonna make a honey balsamic glaze. And so what that is, is very simple. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're just gonna turn the heat up on the pot to a medium temperature. We're taking about a cup of balsamic vinegar, already measured out. Misenplas, you guys, misenplas means everything in its place. It is the greatest tool in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You have everything measured out. You have everything where it's supposed to be already. So that way when it comes to getting everything together and putting it together, it's simple. So this is about a tablespoon and a half of honey. And we're just gonna add that. And it's so good. I don't know if you guys like honey, but I love honey. Love honey. Is that local honey? It is. Uh, it's raw and unfiltered honey awesome. from Brazilian bees. Um, but it's nature mates, and so we know it's natural, it's organic, and it's delicious. Mm. Uh, then we're going to put in some garlic. About two cloves worth of garlic. And then this is one apple roughly chopped up, and that's just going to give it some sweet flavor. So I put in about half the apple. As it starts to heat up, it becomes really syrupy. And then I usually put in some more apples and a little bit more balsamic and I slowly let it boil down and that gives it its sweetness. And then just a pinch of pepper, mm. pinch of salt. And then you can do more of that to taste and then just stir it. And then you're just gonna leave it on a medium heat. You're gonna watch it. It will start to simmer and boil a little bit. When it does that, you'll turn it down just a little bit, but you want it to reduce and simmer and get a little bit thicker so it becomes almost like a syrup. And then so once this is done, what we'll do is we'll glaze the Brussels sprouts in it and we'll kind of let them marinate for a little bit, pop them in the oven at like 400, not 475, um, for about 20 minutes tonight. And then tomorrow we'll have the apples all sliced up. We'll throw them on the sheet pan with it and we will, um, bake them for tomorrow. It'll only take about 20, 25 minutes to complete. And then I'll just get all plated up and nice and easy. No stress. Nice. No stress. Oh, and prepping all of this stuff, honestly, I don't know, maybe half an hour if you have two people doing it. And we're cooking for 25 people. And to, it's really just simple slicing and cutting and preparing and getting organized. And it really only took about half an hour. Now for our main dish tomorrow, we're doing something really cool that I've never done before and I'm really excited about. I found 
a giant jackfruit. It fell off a tree in my backyard. No, what? it didn't. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to play with a jackfruit for a really long time. It is a tropical fruit that um, grows mostly, mostly in South India um, in their low temps. And so I'm really lucky to have found this. And for everyone coming to the party tomorrow, I hope you're as excited as I am. We're going to do barbecue jackfruit. The thing is, is I have no idea what to do with this thing. And so I'm a little, little, oh, what's happening in the kitchen? Hey. Hi. What's up, Janet? Um, we are preparing for our holidays tomorrow. Awesome. And I happened to come across this giant jackfruit and we want to do pulled um, barbecue jackfruit tomorrow. But I don't know what to do with this thing. I'm here to help. <laughs> yes, we have a kitchen elf. I'm so excited. Okay, mm -hmm. well, please show us. Isn't that wild? I mean, it's very prickly on the outside. It's pretty wild. So just a couple of days ago, as a matter of fact, one of our amazing students, Jose, brought one in for a potluck, and I watched him, and he opened it. So I'm going to just mimic and and just bring in Jose's energy. Can we all yes. do that? Yes. So, we'll call in Jose's energy. Awesome. Because so she got this at the Asian store, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. I got this at the Asian store at Bonnie cool. in. So obviously you need a cutting board, a sharp knife, and a good sized one is helpful. You're going to just cut right down the middle. I'm so glad you're here. Wow. Yeah, Look it's... at this thing. Wow. Is it kind of like the consistency of a spaghetti squash? Um, yeah, it actually it is. Maybe oh, just wow. a little thicker, but yeah, similar to that. Do you want me to hold it? <laughs> so this is wild. Let's see if we can pull it apart. I think we're almost there. Nothing like live TV, right? <laughs> wow. Amazing. Look at this yeah, thing. See? Pretty cool. So Sharon, I don't know anything about jackfruit. Where is it from? So it grows in the low temperatures of South India and it's actually the biggest fruit. It's, it's a fruit and it grows on trees. Mm -hmm. And so the trees that breed this um, will make about 100 to 200 tr uh, fruits per year. So it is technically a fruit, which is amazing. It's in the fig, mulberry, um, and breadfruit family. And it's really sweet, but it's it really a fantastic substitute for meat. Like it has the same consistency, it can pull apart like pork. And so it's a great um, substitute for any kind of meat. It can be marinated and it can be used in so many different things. So you just take this, this is the fruit of it and you can see it's a little bit darker yellow. Wow. So you just kind of peel off the outside and then it's just kind of encapsulated mm. in there. And so this is what you eat. This is, and it's delicious. It tastes like Starburst if mm. you've never tried it. I like the texture of it too, so it's pretty cool. So this wasn't bad at all to cut it as long as you have a decent knife. You can smell it it's actually. It's so sweet, it smells really yeah. delicious. And so you okay. can see the Wait, middle part there. Here and smell it yes, yeah. it smells so good. Now can oh you eat it raw? Goodness. Yeah, you eat it this. We oh, were wow. eating this this week when he brought it in. Yeah, mm. and then there's these seeds and you take those out and oh, Jose said he soaks them in water mm. and um, that kind of helps soften it or he'll boil it for a little bit and then he uses it for something i don't remember what he uses it for but he does boil it so he's you know wow. he makes things out of it or puts it in something how so, funny that it looks like garlic cloves it does, it does. <laughs> not to yeah. be confused not with to be garlic. confused with garlic wow. but it's so cool but because it really does if you've seen it in the store it really does look like pulled pork yeah so it's really versatile you can make it italian not italian you can make it indian or mm -hmm. You're doing. We're doing like, like a pulled barbecue, barbecue yeah, I style. We're gonna do it on really rolls. Good. We're gonna add some pineapple to it or pineapple on the side. Yep. So it's gonna be a really delicious dish. I'm so excited for it. I've never cooked with it before, yeah. so it'll be interesting for sure. Yep. You Pull just pick it up at the part. Asian store. They're seventy nine to ninety nine cents a pound. Yeah. This yep. is a 22 pound jackfruit, so this is a big one. So I've got 22 pounds of jackfruit to cook tonight. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm pretty excited about that. Well, thank you so yeah, much, you're Janet. Welcome. I'm nice so pleasure. excited. Thank you for lending us the kitchen and yeah. lending us your expertise. Good luck on your party. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Yay. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Happy holidays. And thank you for tuning in and joining us. If you have any questions on any of the recipes that we're doing, or if you want to come to the holidays party, send me a message. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. Thanks happy for joining. Happy holidays. <laughs>